Okay, you look up a little bit. Yes, lovely. Perfect. Yeah, look on the left. Like that. Yeah, it's good. Really good. Tatiana Tan, welcome to Sitting Pretty, the talk show which shines a light on creative process and business success. My guest today is Anne-Sophie, a photographer living and working here on Coast Samui. Welcome to Sitting Pretty. Hello, Tatiana. So, is it important for you to meet the clients before the shooting day? Yes, yes, that's a really important part of my work because when you meet your customer, you can feel what they like and what they don't like for the photo shooting. So you can just relax and enjoy the day. It's not, you know, just posing. It's really, okay, we go on and we see what will happen during the shooting. And that's the best picture. For example, you see this, couple this photograph. Fun. I can see yeah, a yeah, fun. it was a couple when I, I met them, they told me, yes, we want some romantic picture, but we want to have fun. We want That's to right. remember that we had a good day. Uh, we had, yeah, a lot of fun. So even if it's like uh, reading a newspaper together. Yeah, yeah. We, we were in a lovely resort in Koh Samui and we said, okay, perhaps we have a nice background so we can use this area. So I bring them at the library and we we try to do something funny, so I, I can direct. Did succeed, yes. Yeah, I, I try to direct them, but if they know me and if they know that I'm here, but I'm not here, so just enjoy. So I do what you want to do. Uh, yes, they took the, the newspaper and they had fun. So it's a key. Other picture that they look down because they laugh during the shooting, and I think that's the best way to, to show love in a photograph. It's love, but also funny. I noticed lots of your photographs in black and white, but I'm sure you also do color. Yeah, sure. I can't do a shooting only in black and white, so I shoot in colors. But it's after when I edit the picture, I, I used to know what kind of picture will be perhaps interesting in black and white. It's usually for um, to have more power in the picture. So that's why I used to to, to do a few of them in black and white. And I see also with my customer if they like it or not, because I know that in a few cultures they don't like black and white. So I, that's why also it's important to see the people before mm -hmm. to do a good job for them. But when we speak about a color photograph, I bring this one. If we have time, perhaps I can explain you the story about this picture. Yes, sure, sure, go on. Uh, so I was doing uh, a wedding uh, for this couple in a villa and we were running late for the romantic picture on the beach so I said okay we need to go quickly so we were going on this way and I stopped at the entrance of the villa because it was really interesting to have this big pot and the light of the sun just arriving and oh, I said okay perhaps we stop on the way it's we take really just nice two minutes shot to do this shot, so just stay there in the middle and we see if it works well. And that's also photography. You, you never know what you plan to do. You just do it. Improvise. If you, yeah, if you feel that it can be really interesting. And I like this picture. I like the light arriving on them. Yes. I like, yes, the perspective of, the, of this shot and my customer was really happy with it. And for example, for this kind of shot, in black and white, I think it's not really no, interesting. Yes. The color yeah, are lovely color. like that. Yes. Yeah. And Sophie, I know you do a lot of wedding photography. What excites you the most about it? Yes, I love wedding photography. That's really interesting for me because it gives me the chance to capture all those emotional moments you have in a wedding day. Um, so it starts 
for, from the beginning, you know, when the bride is getting ready, she put her dress on and the father is coming in the room and look at her daughter, you know, with her wedding dress. I think it's a lot of emotion for him. So I'm like a fly on the wall and I turn around and I try to have the best place to show this emotion. So that's a good moment, you know, because nobody see me really, but they know I'm here, but they don't hide, they just let the day is going. That's natural. Yeah, and that's also, for example, when the bride arrive at the ceremony, you know, and the groom look at her for the first time, you know, this is his bride. So for, I bring this picture to show you. Wow, what, what a great shot. <laughs> thank you. This is uh, what I, I think for me it's a great shot, a great emotional shot. Um, because I remember, especially this guy, you know, a big guy, just a few hours before, having fun with, uh, with, his, with his friend, yes, uh, drinking beer and really relax. And yes, the bride arrived and he looked at her and you see his face changing and starting to cry, you know, and I, oh yes, wow. that's a good shot. And Very touching. That's, yeah, yeah, that's really touching. So that's why I would like to... To, to have this shot for them for years and years, to remember how was the day. That's great. Anne Sophie, is it true that every picture tells a story? I hope. And it's what I try to show in all my pictures, even a picture of the shoes, the details during the wedding is a part of this story. And if you see this morning the shooting we did together, Tatiana, I hope the result of the picture will show your story. I hope, really hope. Tatiana, 